Damn. So Luis Netty, the Oya and New Way's next opponent, he ain't playing. He he's he just dropped a he just dropped an interview that I'm gonna show you guys. I got it translated for y'all. And he's saying that, hey, look, anyway asked for this fight. Anyway wants this match because he wants to make me pay. He wants to make me pay for all the shit I did. Yeah, I got banned from Japan, but guess what? Inoue wants it so bad that they're going to reinstate me and they're going to let me fight in Japan. So I'm going to play this video for y'all, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Look, this fight right here has very, very big potential. And if this turns out to be the great match that I know it will be, because look, anytime you got a Mexican fighter in there with another high output fighter, it's sure to be fireworks and it's sure that the people are going to want more. And I don't see this going any other way. Luis Neri, Luis Neri has has already has he he's left the people in Japan with a bad taste in their mouth. They they try to ban this man for life, and the only reason that he's coming back is because Naoya Inoue wants the fight to happen. He wants the fight to happen. This is crazy. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play the. Uh, I'll play the interview, and I'm uh, I'm gonna pause through it. I'm gonna watch it with y'all, and and you guys let me know what y'all think, man. This is gonna be a dope fight. And it's look, all, all things aside, look, the man says he's got a reason why uh he he was tested positive for the for the substance that uh the banned substance. Uh and he also uh explained why he was overweight, you know, why he came in overweight. So I'm gonna let y'all this is part one. This is part one, I got part two, but listen, I need y'all to subscribe. I need y'all to subscribe to my channel. I'm almost to 1k and I'm trying to get monetized, y'all. If y'all give me enough enough subscriptions on this video, hit the like button, comment down below. I'm dropping part two ASAP. This is part this is part one of the interview. Y'all watch it. I chopped it up for y'all to make it go as smooth as y'all can, as smooth as we can. And I'm doing the person. I'm personally doing the uh, translation on this because I want this to be raw. I want this to be how it's supposed to be said. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And the interview was conducted by legendary Mexican boxer Marc Antonio Barrera. And Marc Antonio Barrera, if anybody knows what it takes to make a good fight and what it what it means to have the people urging for more and asking for rematches and asking for trilogies and all that stuff. So let's watch the video. No me quiere, no me they, don't, they don't want me over there. They don't want me over there. Those motherfuckers don't want me over there. Even as a spectator? No, no. I tried to go see the Fulton fight, and they told me I couldn't go. They told me I was not So this man is saying, look, I tried to go see the Fulton fight, but... At, obviously, they had already told me I was banned, so they 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 didn't let me go. They they couldn't they wouldn't let me go. You know, I wanted to go watch it and see as a potential opponent what I could do. You know, if if who I wanted to fight either out of one of them. It's not welcomed. I'm saying, imagine, look, you're there at the Nopales and Noe fight, and you're like, I'm gonna take whoever wins out of you two. Well, you know what? This fight is not even getting made because of Honda. It's getting made because of Inoue. Inoue wants to beat my ass because he says that I dirty his country's name and that he's gonna make me pay. He's gonna make me pay for doing all of that. So he's saying, hey, Inoue, he he got pulled over there, so he made it. He made this happen. You know, Inoue wants to make him pay. This is this is personal. This is grudgy. This is grudge already. You know, it's not a grudge rematch. It's a grudge match to begin with. You know, he's saying, "Hey, look, you came to my country, and you be one of my one of our top sportsmen." And afterwards, you test a positive for a substance, and then you got the rematch. You came in overweight, and you beat him again. And the Japanese weren't happy about that. So they, they banned the man for life. They banned, they say you're not fighting here ever again. But, you know, now Inoue's like, nah, nah. Bring him here. I'm going to show him. I'm going to show him, you know, what what what, uh, what the Japanese do. You know, I'm put him up against me. I'm going to show him, you know. So let's keep watching. This is interesting. Y'all let me know what y'all think that in the comments. But you know what? It's all set. I talked to Fernando and he told me, you know what, bro? Don't worry. It's all set. They already given us the fight and it's going to get done. It's a set deal. We just got to figure out the purses. That's it. Yeah, you know, it's my job and I'll fight against anybody. Okay, so they talking about, hey, look, I already talked to my team. They said it's already done. It's already a set deal. So it sounds like they, this was already in the works before 
you know, before even the Nopalis fight. And it's crazy that Inoue was already thinking about this fight. And he's saying, hey, look, as long as the money's right, we're going to do it. And look, y'all might not know this, but Stephen Fulton got $5 million. Five, he made $5 million against a monster in Japan. Y'all talking about, hey, why he got to go over there? Why he got to go be the Japanese air? Why he got, look, some of us drive an hour to get paid good at a job every day. What you not about to go flight, fight, uh, flight 20 hours and put up with some jet lag and put up with uh, a little bit of uh, your internal clock being thrown off for $5 million. Stupid, man. People just say the craziest things. For $5 million, people do a lot of things. And he, and honestly, that's a better payout than 90% of the fighters that are fighting in the U.S. 90%. 95% even. For one fight? Forget about it. We're going to keep watching. But the money's got to be right. You know? They need to give me for this fight the best purse I've gotten in my life. Because I know this fight's going to be huge. And I know I pay attention to what everybody else is getting paid, you know? So I know I better make some good money See, so, off this. So he's saying, hey, I'm, I'm paying attention to what everybody else is getting paid. And if I'm going to get paid for this fight, I'm going to get paid big. How you go from being banned to sitting here like, I'm going to make a bag off of this? And look, if, like I just said, if if Fulton made five million, how much you think he gonna make off of this fight? At least five million. That's huge for for bantamweights, for super bantamweights. That's huge money. That's huge money. That's this is big. This is gonna be a huge fight. Huge fight. I'm imagining for this fucking fight to be dope, and you guys get a second rematch, and then. A trilogy fight. A trilogy, yes. Yes, because look, it's not going to be an easy fight. You're coming with everything, and in a way, it's making this a personal thing, and we all know that we all love a great fight. When you give the fans a great fight, like I know you guys will both do, people are going to want to ask for more. And the next pay is going to be higher. Yes, of course, we got to get paid more the second time. Look, man, if, if this fight turns out to be anything... Short of great, people are gonna ask for another fight. And you guys know anytime that there's there's boxing and that there's two two big punchers, two burst, just burst punches, a high output, it makes for a great match. Especially when those fighters are at a low weight class. These dudes got crazy stamina, crazy stamina. So imagine. The fight just, at least, like, whoa, that was a close fight. Rematch. Trilogy. It's crazy, man. Look, I told y'all, 2024 is the OAA's, uh breakout year. He already let us know, like, hey, I'm here. Like, we doing it big in Japan. But this is going to be a breakout. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hit the like button. Comment down below. And please subscribe to the channel. This is a 10 minute long interview. And I just gave y'all part one. I got, I got, I got, a, I got like three parts to this. So if y'all subscribe to the channel and y'all tell me y'all want to see part two, comment down part two in, in the comments. And I'm going to make part two ASAP. I'm going to give it about two days. I'll make part two. Y'all be safe, man. This is Jay's point of view. I'm out.